28 years, 29 years, maybe we'll get it right then. I mean, you know, I mean, we're all voting Vermin Supreme, so we're all going to get that fucking time travel. So we can go back and educate his parents on abortion. About 29 years in the past. But, yes, I have a serious question for everybody here. Have you ever gotten so fucked up that you end up as the campaign manager for a presidential campaign in the middle of a zoo in southern Oklahoma, but you got there via the White House and a Las Vegas mental ward? Yes. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm not fucking kidding. I, I was living in Oklahoma. Whiskey was a very large part of my diet. So I ended up in South Florida around West Palm Beach. And one of, I thought this guy was gonna be a friend, but it turned out that he was a very uh, insane, not really altogether there, recovering heroin addict who lost his ex to heroin. So already we've got three bad points. We've got Florida, heroin, more heroin. I think it's time to leave this spot. So I'm sitting out homeless in South Florida around West Palm Beach going, gee, I have $600. I need to get the fuck out of Florida. I'm essentially homeless. So where the fuck do I go? I go to DC, because that seems like a great place to go when you're homeless. Let's go to the nation's capital. This ought to be entertaining. Where do I end up? I end up in a tent 80 feet in front of the fucking White House during my stay in DC. So by night, I'm protesting the White House for world peace. Yay! It's also known as uh, Tourist information, crackhead control. That's pretty much what you do there at night. During the day, I would sleep. You know, you're dealing with crackheads all night, as we called them DC residents. I mean, I was there while weed was legal, people still doing crack. I don't really understand DC sometimes. I'm sitting in this tent one night, and this is where Vegas comes in, because really, when you're telling a story about your life, and the next fucking statement is, yeah, I was at a 10, 80 feet in front of the White House, and the next thing I knew, I was on a Greyhound of Vegas through Colorado, which I really wish I would have taken some weed to Vegas with me because Vegas is a town that needs marijuana, especially when you get there and you are the bitch of a complete cunt that worked for the Bernie Sanders campaign. You're like, why are you against Bernie Sanders? It's like, let me tell you this story about me living in fucking Vegas. You know, we had a nice condo, she was paying for everything. All I had to do was cook, clean, take care of the dog. And then she was like, oh yeah, but you also need to get a job because I'm not paying for you to live here. It's like, you, I was homeless in DC, you cunt. And now you bring me out to Vegas of all places? I'm gonzo, cunt. You don't bring me to Vegas and expect me to get a job. I, you're paying me to do exactly what I'm doing. I'm a, I'm a really good chef. I have a reputation. But she kicked me out. You know, it was a mutual decision. You're a bitch. And she's like, you're a good chef, and I can't have anything nice for myself. Because <laughs> that's how women are, I guess. So I spent a week on the streets of Vegas. You do not sleep on the streets of Vegas. What you do is meth. Because the, the criminal penalties for meth on the streets of Vegas, being a homeless person, are less than actually sleeping on the streets of Vegas. So, it, legally, it's better just to sit around the streets of Vegas and do meth, I guess. So, when I came to, I was the campaign manager for a guy who was gay married in Oklahoma with two husbands in the middle of a goddamn zoo running his presidential campaign. I eventually sobered up and decided I just gotta come to Denver. So here I am, and 
Pretty much been the last six wow. months of my life. Yeah! Woo! Oh, watch out for that speaker. <laughs> Gonzo! Yeah! Oh, the Muppets are fucking pissed. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, this has been wonderful. The sound guy, I think, went into a heroin-induced coma, like, so he's not even here anymore. I think he got drunk, but yeah. Um, this, this has been a wonderful time. You guys, you guys want to tell your jokes? I'll talk, dude. You want to tell a joke? I'll try. All right, I need a make it quick. Okay. All right. That guy! Yeah. That guy! That guy! Yeah! Oh, shit. Oh, watch out for the step. I have the speaker on the way down. There's a step there. So, I think that one of the biggest jokes that I probably have is that my name is Alfredo. <laughs> so, people will walk up to me and they'll be like, hey man, your name's Alfredo? Is that like the sauce? And I'm like, no, it's like the uh, metal. Of course it's like the sauce. What the fuck else would it be like, right? So, I'm a sauce, and that's my joke.